Good afternoon, folks. It is Wednesday, February the 6th, and I haven't done a video in a week and a half. I apologize for that. Uh, I've had one of those weeks. There's been good things in my week. Yes, there has uh, in the last week. Um, but I've also, as far as like what I'm trying to do, it's like if it can go wrong, it did, and then it got worse. Uh, repeatedly. Repeatedly. But... Let's take a look, see what happened, what I did get done, what I didn't get done, what blah, blah, blah. But we're going to kind of run through it real quick here. Um, I'm going to start with last Tuesday uh, where there was some good stuff and some bad stuff. First, the bad stuff. Okay, well, that ain't why I'm here today, but that's what I'm going to do for the next little while. Okay, so you see that, that's fun. Um... Had to, I don't know how much water was in the top of that tent. Had to push that out. The best part of that is uh, when I pushed all that water out of the second tent, I managed to put about 10 gallons of ice water in my shoe. Oh, that was special. Special. But I did get it uh, cleaned up and uh, get it all put back together. And that sounds good, but just wait till tomorrow. Further today... Okay, here's the good stuff that happened last Tuesday. Somebody started digging for my foundation. Uh, they made quite a bit of progress. Uh, I was rather impressed with what he managed to get done. Um, you can see everything's starting to get leveled out there. Uh, it's pretty. I like it. It's finally happening. This makes me a very, very happy man. Uh, everything went well, except that uh, as he started getting done there, you'll notice right here at the end of this, there's a few rocks. And if you think that looks bad, wait till this week. I mean, I know that was last Tuesday, but dang, it gets worse. My sawmill is the thing underneath that pile of tent right there where it's blown over and just wiped everything the hell out. That's right. <clears throat> That's that tent that I fixed on Tuesday. It's laying on top of my sawmill. It flipped over, it completely covered it. It was a pain to pull that thing apart and get that thing back off the sawmill. I had gone to move my sawmill. That's my purpose in being there that day, to move the sawmill. If it had waited one more day, I'd have had the sawmill out of the way and it wouldn't have been a problem. But I did get it cleaned up. <sighs> okay, so uh, at that point, um, I did start taking the mill down. That went pretty well, uh, except the back, well, a couple of the feet were frozen in the ground. One of the back leveling feet was uh, frozen like two, two and a half inches in the ground. I like to never, because I had every other 11 foot uh, off of the ground. Uh, I was jacking the thing up and, and the front tongue was coming up while the back of the sawmill was going down. I had to bounce on it. Finally got that. And it looks like everything's going real, real, real well. And then, well, there's this. Okay, I absolutely hate to call myself a total and complete moron, but after all that, tents blown down, things frozen to the ground, got to get it unlocked, got to find tools, got all that, got everything ready to go. Everything is ready to go. And what did some moron do? One hour and 40 minutes later, and now we have a hitch. A quick look at uh, what they finished or what they did with the uh, bulldozing on Tuesday. They finished getting everything leveled out. They brought in the block that they're going to put up against the wall. Uh, got the dirt all piled up. Good progress on Wednesday. Good progress. But then, of course, there's this. What I'm going to do with all that rock? Wow. I really wish I had a good use for it. I just don't know what it's gonna be. That sucks. And it's not like after uh, they leave here with the equipment that I can move it, because <laughs> that little rock laying over there probably weighs 500 pounds. I mean, bigger rocks, I promise, man, they weigh three tons or more. So, woof. Okay, so there's that. Um, that may be solved. Uh, 
I was talking to the guy who had uh, done all the bulldozing there, and he's got a feller that may want all that rock. He's like, can you give that rock away? I was like, if you come get it and haul it off for free, yes, you can have that rock. I mean, Lord have mercy. I don't know what I'd do with all that stuff. So that problem actually may be solved. And then uh, uh, this next little bit is about how my day uh, ended Wednesday. I really hope you enjoy the hairdo. Keep in mind that it was six degrees and I'd been wearing a belly clav all day and I was not having the best life moment. Okay, <laughs> I'm defeated. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get my sawmill where I wanted to get it today. Uh, come out here and bust my butt in this frozen weather to try and get this done. And uh, you'll notice the sun's going over the hill. Um, see my truck there behind me? Please note. Sawmill's attached. It is. We drove down the road. Oh, stay there. We drove down the road. Sure enough, I got to the end of the road here about a quarter mile from here. I stepped on the brake pedal at the stop sign. I ran the stop sign. Thank God we're out in the country. And I was going uphill, so I didn't run it too fast, you know. Uh, and really, I didn't run it that bad. But I got no brakes. None. Gone. No brakes. So, I'm just defeated. <laughs> My wife's son's coming to pick me up. He's going to take me home. I'm going to buy him some gas. <laughs> Seemed like a fair deal to me. Okay, that's where we ended Wednesday. <laughs> it seemed like a good place to just stop. Um, Thursday, uh, I didn't do anything down at the farm. Uh, my wife, Missy, had to have a procedure done at the, at the hospital. Uh, she's got problems with her neck uh, because of rheumatoid arthritis. And she had to have an ablation, which is getting nerves burnt in your neck. It's not anything you ever want to have done. Um, so that kind of shot Thursday. Uh, she's one that says, well, you know, I just feel like I'm interrupting your life. You know, if your wife needs something like that, or your spouse, it doesn't have to be your wife, it could be your husband, I don't care, your spouse. If your spouse has to have something like that done, your job is to be there. Uh, you have to understand my wife, she is a southern uh, country girl. And if you're not familiar with them, uh, I think the best way to explain them is like this. Southern girls. Got a bullet hole in their leg. Honey, you need to go to hospital. Well, yeah, but just let me finish these last few dishes because when I get home, it's going to be a mess because you're not going to take care of it and it just has to be done. Hemorrhaging out on the floor. Yes, they will be like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love Southern girls, but stubborn. Stubborn. I love my wife. Don't ever think I don't. So that's what we did Thursday. Uh, Friday. <laughs> Friday I got out and started late, thought I was going to go uh, do my brakes, uh, went and bought the parts, asked the guy at this parts store, you know, it's like, is there going to, are these different ends on the, on the brake line? Uh, nope, nope, they're all the same. So, he was wrong. So I came back and I put those parts in there and I went to another parts store because uh, they didn't have the right parts. The other parts store goes and they get to we get the same rod that we had at the other parts store. I know that makes sense. We get all that, we get the thing to fit it, and we go back down the farm and <laughs> wrong right size, wrong threads. So they had that. So Saturday, I had all the right parts and I went and got my truck. And uh Yeehaw. Finally got everything moving. Um before I got everything uh, down to where I'm going to be putting my sawmill, though, uh, I did some mowing. And I'd love to tell you what day I did that mowing, but I, at this point, I really don't know. But here's some video of the mowing, just so you realize exactly what it is that uh, I'm trying to get through. It's fun stuff. So, this is just me uh, mowing the uh, field where my sawmill is going to go. Uh, and my sawmill is actually in there. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, but my little bitty Ford Jubilee 1953 tractor and that big old bush hog 
just really having a time trying to get through this stuff. There's trees down in there. A lot of those trees you see me mowing over 10 feet tall. And while they're skinny and scrawny and all that, to get a bunch of them in that bush hog, that, uh, that old four just barely do it. You know, I have to stop, take it out of gear, and let that uh, bush hog just chew for a while. But we got it going. Uh, what you're not seeing in that video. <laughs> Pin holding the bush hog on, fell out. Pin holding the bar for the lift for the lift on the tractor, uh, the little clip, fell out. Five, count them five times. I lost five clips. Uh, went and got another rod, or another uh, pin to hold the uh, bush hog on. And uh, lost the clip that's holding that in there. That's when I quit that day. Uh, I might have a fourth of that field uh, mode. I doubt it. Um, I still got another two, three days in there just mowing. Right side is, feller that owns it, says once I get it all mowed, I can come back after that and mow it for hay and take all the hay, which uh, works for me. There is good grass back there, and I'm pretty sure that's going to end up being a good deal for me. But right now, I got to get it mowed. Um, like I said, here in a minute, we're going to talk about how uh, I got the uh, uh, sawmill back there. That's all I got, but I got the sawmill back there. It was a job. But now for the next thing that was just really a, a bright side of my week and just keeps me going. This is what I did on Saturday. Sorry, Sunday. Okay, Sunday and Tuesday I worked on my six wheeler. Sunday I worked on it by myself. Tuesday I worked on it with help. Um, it ain't running. Uh, I run I got some water in the gas on that thing and I run that through there and it just really messed it up and I mean I've taken the carburetor apart into little bitty pieces cleaned it put it all back together I say I did that I had help doing that because I'm the uh, carburetors um, I had already cleaned it before he took it all completely apart but everything's been done I mean it's been done and done and done and done and that thing I mean it'll almost start or then it will start man I tell you what it backfires it sputters sputs ugh I mean, it's like still got water in it, but put brand new gas in it, cleaned out the lines. I'm going to try that again tomorrow. Uh, well, not tomorrow. Next time I go down there, uh, I've been sitting here trying to figure out what I did on Monday. And the truth is, I, I don't even know. It's been that kind of a week. I just I don't even know what I did on Monday. Uh, so anyway, there's that. We're just not going to watch that. Um, but I kind of want to end today's video. Uh, let's look at what uh, we've gotten done down at my property. Uh, in the last week because this you know in spite of all this other stuff I mean I know it sounds so much stuff I've been talking about is kind of negative it's like I've been getting discouraged it's like the harder I try the more stuff breaks um, but I got my tractor running I'm going to be able to go down there and bush hog but right now it's raining we're supposed to get two to four inches of rain between now and Friday <sighs> so tomorrow and Friday today's Wednesday tomorrow and Friday I'm going to go out in my shop and clean and start packing some stuff up because I, I got to get to that um, get that looking better because I got to sell this house this house got to go I'm running out of money and this house is still here um, ah well I guess that's pretty much it let's take a look at uh, what we've gotten done at the property because it, it's pretty nice okay now I'm still trying to get some perspective on this uh, there's the dirt they took out of the hole <laughs> that's, that's that little stack of rocks and let's take a look here where we've got the foundation well not the foundation uh, we've got it flattened out we've got a rock wall over there and the house goes this side of the rock wall get a little perspective uh, I'm six foot tall that's uh, uh, I'm gonna walk over here Okay, now I'm gonna quit walking on that because my boots weigh about 42 pounds a piece. <sighs> but I've got uh, one other thing. Uh, the building I've got to move, it goes over there. And that spot is flat now, so I can do that. That's where I'm gonna call this a video.
it's a little convoluted today I know that because I had a whole week's worth of stuff to shove into one video I left a mountain of stuff out uh, that if I was doing daily videos would have been in there but you know after so many things break down and I'm well this broke and this broke and this broke and this broke it's kind of boring <laughs> so so we left all that out not to mention I didn't want a three hour video so what's going to be going on next uh, I'm not sure uh, tomorrow I'm going to clean my shop I'm going to start cleaning in my shop uh, trying to get some tools packed away get some stuff ready to go things like that uh, the guy who's doing the foundation work is supposed to come down and pour the foundation as soon as it quits raining uh, it's going to rain for the next three days uh, as soon as that's done I got to go down there and, and uh, lay some block along because they're going to do a foundation and then a pad so he's going to pour the foundation I put the block up and then he pours the pad uh, next to the foundation or next to the block so I got to get down there and get that done I've got to get uh, some small pads cut uh, poured uh, for where my building's going to go I mean I'm just doing little like two foot pads uh, to set the building on so we got the block and everything so the building sits good and firm let's uh, see there's that I'm gonna be bush hogging uh, and hopefully get into the sawmill uh, I figure I've got at least another two days worth of bush hogging because that's just a slow process it's not that big of a field but with that little bitty tractor and that bush hog uh, it's just taking forever it's being slow 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 so where's that um, uh, that's enough to talk about right now I, I've got more work to do than any 10 men ought to have and all I can say is I'm gonna get to it as quick and as fast as I can um, you know, hopefully get to the sawmill and <laughs> start cutting some lumber. Ah, fun stuff. So, that's what's going on. If you like this kind of thing, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you think you might like be interested in what's going on, hit the subscribe button, you know, ding the little bell. You know all that stuff. Uh, and in the meantime, you have a very, very, very blessed day. <sighs>